So third grade came up with some fabulous ideas on how we as a Holstrom family can make some money and give a student the opportunity to go to school. And so these are the three finalists. These three groups are gonna be sharing their ideas with you and then second grade, we're gonna ask you to go back to your classroom before lunch or after lunch, your teachers will help you with this and vote on which one you wanna do next year as third graders. Cookbooks for Kenya. With great power comes great responsibility. Why are we making this proposal? Part of being a sponsor for Global Citizen is helping people and countries around us. We are doing that because we are organizing an organization to help a kid in Kenya get um, a scholarship to go to school. I believe that kids in Kenya deserve to get an education. Do you like school? What is our idea? Our idea is to sell cookbooks for five to ten dollars <coughs> each. The price is depending on how good the cookbooks are made. The recipes are going to be from around the world and we will include a special section for Africa. How will we execute our plan? Each student will go home, find a recipe and make it. The very next day they will bring it in and we'll have a taste testing. If you like it, you will put a tally mark under good. If you don't like it, you'll put a tally mark, tally mark under bad. And if everybody approves of it, we'll put a star by it in the cookbook, and that will mean that it's approved by kids. <coughs> How will we execute off this plan? Two weeks before the event, we'll put out a sign saying how much it will cost, when it will be, what our idea is, and more information. <sighs> we will put a thank you note in the very front page of the cookbook to thank everybody who buys a cookbook. This event will only take place for one day and if we don't sell all of them, we will, might add an extra day for them. Thank you. Our time frame. First, the, <coughs> the third graders will go home find a recipe and make it. Then they will bring it into school. And the following, I mean, the very day they will have a taste test and they will choose recipes. We have included a long period of time to make cookbooks. And last but not least, we have the sell them. Who will this impact? This will impact a kid in Kenya because they will be able to get to get, to get an education. This will also impact Holstrom because it feels good to help people help people that aren't our own. It will cost a hundred dollars or more for, to buy, to get the supplies to make the cookbooks. And we will need to sell at least a hundred cookbooks to to get at least at least eight eight hundred and twenty-five or eight hundred and fifty dollars in include for the amount of money that we're sending to the kid in Kenya and for supplies. Conclusion. Thank you for coming to our presentation. Thank you. Once again, thank you. Do you like cooking? Yeah. yeah. very important job. When you go back to your classroom, your teachers are going to ask you to think about these three proposals. They're going to ask you to think about the book fair, asking people to bring in books so you can sell them and make some money for this cause. They're going to ask you about the business letters. As third graders, writing business letters, writing letters to businesses and asking them for donations. They're going to ask you about the cookbooks for Kenya. As third graders, do you want to research recipes and create a cookbook and sell that? Your classes, your job is going to be to decide and think about what do you want to do as third graders? How can you help this important cause? We'll be coming around this afternoon to ask for what your class voted on.
We just finished a unit studying about all the students in Kenya that need education. And I guess what I want to know is, you learned about being responsible global citizens during this unit. What did you learn? I think that a responsible global citizen is somebody that helps other people in other parts of the world. Does anybody want to add to that? Um, I do. I also being a responsible global citizen is to help like not only other people but other countries, either though that you might have no idea wh who they are and what they are and you have no part of it, you just want to help out of your own good. Yeah, being a responsible global citizen is to help a someone even though you don't know them. Okay. And you can like make up stuff that you can help them, like you can sell things and get money for them. Okay. So we just worked on a great presentation on, on fundraising. In doing this, how is that changing your role in the world? How can you do this later on as you grow up and get older and continue to be responsible global citizens? You can like donate money and stuff. You can donate money and make other organizations that can help. Well, maybe you can make like a business that helps other people in other parts of the world by raising money and giving them towards people that need it. Oh, kind of you, like EFAC. You can what we make about. like food for them, and you can bring them water. You can even go there and like make friends with them, and like they can come to your country to like eat some stuff and try something that they never tried before. You can help them by getting like getting them food or give, getting them health or something like that, letting them have a place to live. Great ideas you all have learned so much. Let's go back to the unit. We did a fun thing uh, with the brochures, remember? Yeah. We did the geography-based problems with this yeah. unit. We did a lot of work on the glogs. And then our final presentation. Out of all of those, what did you like? What did you learn? Talk to me about that. Well, I learned that you can barter with people at Kenya, and they also trade stuff if they want something else, and, and it's all gone at the market. And they also have markets, and they usually sell stuff, and they usually have big prices and stuff for them, mm -hmm. so they usually barter. So you learned a little bit about bartering? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I learned about, oh, like, not everybody, like, gets water, like, just at those doorstep. Like, when they want it, they don't just don't just get it, they have to work for it. Like in Kenya, they did the, invented the play pump but they can play and that brings the model. Okay, good. Asha, you wanna address that? Well, I learned in Kenya's markets, sometimes when you barter, you don't get exactly what you want. Because okay. <laughs> it's about supply and demand, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> David, what was your favorite part of the unit? Um, my favorite part of the unit is the geography based problems. I just love reading about the problems that they have and how we could help. And you came up with some solutions that yeah. way? And yeah. YouTube worked on, you You viewed the glogs, but you also worked yeah. on creating glogs of your yeah. own. Yeah, yeah, it's really fun creating glogs. Yeah, yeah. it is. And how is that good for learning? Because you can like research and then post it and other people can learn from that and we could learn from other people's blogs. Okay, what about the PowerPoints? Um, I use them very good now, and my passion project also helps since I did a PowerPoint for mine, passion project. I didn't really use PowerPoints that much, but now I know way more about them so I can use them better and have more fun. You feel comfortable, uh, Abby Asher? Is that the same for you? Mm -hmm. You feel more comfortable yeah, with using that mine. as a tool? <laughs> it's easier. To, it's easier to like learn stuff when you have a slide and you can just read it. Um, we just finished this big unit on our social studies unit and I guess let's just start off with how was this unit with Kenya and, and helping raise money for this important cause connected to our social studies standards and our literacy standards and our tech standards? <laughs> well, as we went through, when, um, you, when we planned some of the lessons and things, we were looking at the ELs as well as the Colorado standards because that's what we're going by. And we found that it um, hit with the economic standards, the civic standards, and geography standards, as well as the technology standards with PowerPoint 
and researching on a web, um, copying, pasting pictures. So it hit many standards all at once, as well as the listening and speaking that goes with the language arts. And thinking about doing other units like this that we've done that are more textbook based, you know. Right, and it was nice that we could tie everything in in, you know, three or four weeks and cover so many standards. In an exciting way. Right. So, which that leads me to my next kind of question is talk about engagement and rigor and relevance and what you noticed with this unit and with your students as you were going through the past 21 days. Well, the students right off the bat with the glogs were able to just like kind of that interactive bulletin board was it was so much fun for them to interact with the learning and the technology in that way and to be immersed in it and um, that set the tone for it I thought they, mm -hmm. they loved it right from the beginning. I thought with that being a student that they were relating to, it was e it was very relevant for them, versus an adult in Kenya that we're trying to help. When it was a student, it was it connected right to them, so it was easy for them to connect to the learning and. Mm -hmm. Same with the African market mm -hmm. that we did when the kids were practicing.